Permítame, no, no, no. Eh, Osman. Oh, oh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am good, good in my house. House. Good. So you are resting. Yes, I am resting. Nice. Very good. Very good. How are I you, am. Rose? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you. And you? Good, I'm doing okay. Thank you. Okay. How was your day? How was your day? <laughs> well, my day was um, very quiet. quiet. Okay, yeah. yeah, quiet, 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 mm. easy, relaxed. Yeah, quiet. Okay, good, good. Uh, in Friday, my day, but, uh -huh. yeah. Friday, Friday, but uh, uh, quiet. Quiet. What is the busiest uh, day of the week in your case? Monday. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes. Monday, on Monday, you have more activities than the other yes, days. I have I have more, more activities to do okay, mm -hmm. yeah. because I send I send I send some reports to my to my boss. Uh huh. Um, and it takes it takes me it takes takes me it takes me it takes me it yes takes me time yes it takes me time good mm -hmm. good 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 nice yeah what about you Osmin is there the is there any day of the week that is busier than others where you have many activities yeah. Other activities? Like extra activities, a day with okay. extra activities. Okay. okay. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, other activity. Uh, my friend and working in my house. Okay, so you visited a friend and then you were working in your house. Yes, yeah, yeah, teacher. Okay, all right, good. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. This is our last session. How do you say valiente in English? Brave. Brave. You guys are brave. <laughs> Very brave. Yes. <laughs> good. So no matter what the circumstance is, you guys need to continue and continue and persist. And, uh, and eventually you guys will be bilingual. Mm. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> you will, you I will, hope so. you will. Okay, so what time is it? It's Eight o five. Eight o five p.m. And what is today's date? Today's Friday. Friday today nineteen. Friday night. Oh, Friday. Yeah, the nineteenth, February the nineteenth. February the nineteenth. Yes. All right. Good. And what is the year? Twenty. 2021. Excellent. Very good. All right. So let's begin. Let's continue. Like I was saying, this is our last session, your last two hours of basic one. And you guys are doing an excellent job. So don't stop now. All right. So um, do you remember yesterday's topics? <laughs> Prepositions. Prepositions, yes. Prepositions. Prepositions. What is a synonym? What is a synonym of in the back of? In the back of. 
Behind of? Behind. Ah, behind. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. So we have behind, in the back of, in front of, opposite corner, across from, right side, left side. What do you say, paso de desnivel in English? Overpass. Overpass. Very good. How do you say pasarela in English? Pasarela. How do you say puente in English? Bridge. Footbridge. Footbridge. Footbridge is pasarela. Yeah. Footbridge. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you have a footbridge. How do you say tumulo? Street bump. Street bump. Street Very bump. good. Very good. Uh, is the word tumulo only in El Salvador or is it a Spanish word? Is it Salvadorian or Spanish word? No, because in Mexico it's tope. Sope. Tope. Tope. Oh, tope. Oh. Mexico. Okay. But tumulo is only in America. Tumulo <laughs> in, in Europe. Tumulo in Europe. Uh, Europe, in I don't Europe. know. Uh -huh. There are tumulos in Europe. <laughs> yeah, there are there are street bumps in the States. Uh -huh. So I'm pretty sure uh, street bumps should exist everywhere, in every part of the world, I think. Uh -huh. I think. I'm not sure. How do you say batches in English? Holes? Potholes. <laughs> Potholes. Let, let, let me, let me oh, put okay. it in. Okay, please. Potholes. Pot, pot. Yeah, potholes. Those are batches. Potholes. But you can also say holes like you were like you were saying, Luis. Yeah, be careful with the holes. How do you say peaton in English? Uh, I don't know. Pedestrian. What? Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so, you know, there are you know, some of the reasons why the person uh, is learning the language is that one day when this person goes to Australia, Canada, the United States, they understand everything related with traffic as well. So, all right. Any questions about yesterday? Remember that at 9 p.m. Uh, we need to make a pause so you guys can complete the, uh, the how do you say, encuesta in English? Encuesta. Survey. Survey. Survey, yes. Survey. Yes, survey. survey, yes. The survey. You guys need the to complete survey. the survey. Right. Yeah. At 9 p.m. All right, so let me check this here. Do you guys remember will and going to? Yes. Okay, when do we use will and going to? When well, we're going to do something in the future. When we have plans for the future. Grammatically speaking, what will, is the difference? Will is a possibility and going to is to talk about doing plans. Yes. Grammatically speaking, that is the difference. You know, will is a possibility and going to is when you're talking about plans. However, remember that uh, if you make the decision at the time you're speaking, you use will. But the decision was made when you were talking. It was not planned. I, I have a question. Yes, sir. Will you use with he, she, or it, and they, we, and I, with every... You use will with all personal pronouns. Okay. Okay. Yep. With everybody. 
that this year. Yeah, yeah. And like I told you the day that I was explaining, you can be using will instead of going to, or you can be using going to instead of will, and nobody's going to say anything. Oh, use will. No, use going to, because the two are for future. So that explanation is for our, mainly for teachers to keep it present. So when, if a student asks, you know, but in a real life situation, you can use any. Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs and you will talk about the plans that you have for this weekend. Let me see this here. Breakout rooms. Create rooms. And, 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 all right, right here. Here we go. Vilma. How are you, Vilma? Good. Nice. Let yeah. me send you to room two. Yes. Okay. You're going to be working with Ricardo and with Osmin. Okay, thank you. All right, good. In the, at like 7 p.m. I have a wedding. You have a wedding, okay. A civil wedding. Okay. And then on Sunday, I'm going to rest in the morning and then I, I will work a little bit. On the you afternoon. work? Yeah, I have some emails oh, that thanks. I have to answer. Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. And that's my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Betty, how do you say? Um, atareado. Yeah. Hectic. So, what? Hectic. Atarea. Hectic. Hectic. Let, let me write it in the chat. Yes. Because last last weekend I have the bachelor party, right? Yes. And now so is the, the civil. Now the, is, the, is the civil wedding. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> so that bachelor's party... Was yours bachelor's party or someone else's? Someone else's. <laughs> no, a friend. But, but tomorrow is the wedding of my friend. The, the same person? The same person. Oh. <laughs> so tomorrow you're going to be like, remember the, your bachelor's party? No, I have to be like quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, what, what, whatever you do in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, but that guys do when they're going to, to get married, you know, so... <laughs> Like a tradition, like a life thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On Sunday, he he don't wake up. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna wake up until Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. I hope not. I have to work. <laughs> All right, good. Let me visit the other room. I'm going to the visit grandmother. Um, I'm going to uh, listen to music.
That's good. Okay. Teacher, do you listen to the roster? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Who, who's the owner of that rooster? Osmin. <laughs> who's the owner? Yeah. Uh, yes. I, uh, next. Next to your house, Osmin? Yes. I, I, here. I like animals. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I, I, I hear the animal. When you were a child teacher, did you, did you have a roster or maybe? No, no? you know, when, when I was a child, I only had dogs. I had fish, fish, turtles, and, okay. and, and a white rat. I, I, I remember uh, you thought about the, um, what, what, what is it's the tarantula, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to catch tarantulas. <laughs> yeah. Why did you? I don't why, know. Why did you <laughs> just, just for fun. Oh, <laughs> just for fun. So that, that was it. Okay. Did you guys finish with the conversation, with the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes. Finished. Okay. Let's go back to the main session. <coughs> okay. All right. Let's wait for the others. How do you say Holandese, teacher? How do you say what? Holandese. She speak Holandese. <laughs> Holandese. Uh -huh. How do you say I speak For, Holland? Uh huh. Speak Holland. For example, I speak German. Right. Netherlands. Neither. No. How do you say the language from Holland for the country? What is what is what is the name in Spanish? Holandese. I think, I think you say Holish, but I, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, it's Holish, I think. I, I remember. I, let, let me check in, in, in my cell phone right now. Yes. Let's oh. ask Mr. Knows <laughs> It All, Mr. Google. <laughs> I, I think it's a, it's a Holish, but I'm not sure. Let's see. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Language and the people, Holish. Yeah, Holish. yeah, Holish, double Holish. L. Yeah, okay. Holish, yep. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Luis, Rose, Vilma, Osmin, Marta, and Ricardo. Okay, uh, any questions about the plans that you have for this uh, weekend? No? Do you guys work tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday? No. 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 Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> we are going, we are, we are uh, sleep too late. Yeah. Sleep yeah. Too late? No? Yeah. How do you, say you, get, you, you sleep late. Okay. Yeah, you only, sleep only, late. Only Luis is, uh, is wake up early because he he's going to the beach. <laughs> you going to the beach tomorrow, Luis? Yes. So you go every sure. Saturday. Yes, and every Saturday, every Sunday, if I can. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, you know, like when you have a 
a program already. Say every Saturday I go to the beach and Sunday yes, it, if possible. It's because when you catch a wave, it's like a drug. You, you want to catch another and another and another. <laughs> so it's addictive. Uh -huh. She's a love surfer. He's a what? She's a surfer. Right, He's right. He's a surfer. Right, right. It's addicted, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could surf. I have never tried it in my life. <laughs> it's difficult to learn. I catch my first wave after one year of practice. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. A real wave, not a tiny one, a real one. One year yeah. after I, I started. And how deep do you have to go to catch a nice wave? It depends uh, of the month of the year. When you are in November to February, you have to not go too deep. When after March, you have to go a little bit deep, like five kilometers, I think. Five it's kilometers? That's the way it's long. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Have it's you ever long. seen any sharks? No, just um, turtles. And how do you say the La que te fican? Medusas? Oh, the jellyfish. 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 Uh, in, the Jell Pacific, in the Pacific, we don't have sharks, only in the Atlantic. Really? Yeah, that's my, my <laughs> the surface set, right? I never see a, a shark in Pacific. Don't beaches. be afraid for the sharks. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember when I was a kid, you know, my mother used to take oh, us to El Tamarindo in Oriente, to the beach. Uh -huh. And I remember seeing baby sharks dead uh, on the shore, you know. Uh -huh. But that was uh, have you many seen, years ago. <laughs> but, but have you seen the news like an attack shark here in the... In no, the, no. Uh, so that's why we don't have shark, I think. Okay. All right, good. Okay, um, any questions or comments? No? Okay, let's continue and let's finish this book. Um, did you finish writing the map, drawing the map? Did yes, you, I finished. Did you get to explain uh, the map to your friend, to your partner? Yes. Did you? Yeah. All yeah. right. Any questions or comments? No? All right, so now we go to uh, part three on page 48, addresses and places. He has a presentation blank, the meeting room. The laptop is blank, the main table. The exhibition is blank, San Miguel. Where's your boss? My boss is blank work. Human resources is blank, the third floor. And Juan is blank, the, co the photocopy center. So there we need to use uh, prepositions. So please go ahead and fill it up.
All right, are we ready? Yes. What's number one, Luis? He has a presentation in the meeting room. In the meeting room. Rose, what is number two? The laptop is on the main table. On the main table, yes. Number three, do you have number three, Vilma? The exhibition? The exhibition is on San Miguel. In San Miguel. In San Miguel. In San Miguel, yes. Number four, Marta, do you have, I yes? Have, yeah. The number three, it's not the exhibition, it's at San Miguel. In San Miguel. Not at. You can say at too, but in sounds better. Okay. Yes. Marta, do you have number four? Marta, Marta. Sí, any, we, uh -huh. where is your boss? My boss is at work. Excellent. Where is your boss? My boss is at work. Number five, Osmin. Okay, okay, teacher. Number five, human records Re is resources. Resources is uh, an, an, on, 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 pardon. on, is on the, the floor. On the third floor. Very good. And what's the last one, Ricardo? Uh, teacher, I'm not sure if the answer is at or maybe in, but I will try it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. One is at the photocopy center. Okay, good. At the photocopy center, or if you want to be very specific, está dentro, say one is in the photocopy center. Yeah. And I just bought. Yeah, you can use in or you can use at. Perfect. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Any questions or comments, people? No. Okay, now we go to part four. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part four. There is, there are, and adjectives. Write a list okay. of places. Uh -huh. write, a list, write, a, write a list of places that, that are in your workplace. Then ask a partner to describe this. To describe his, uh -huh. hers, and write down the ideas. Okay, good. So, if I start, imagine that I'm working with a rose. This is going to be my list, the first one. There is a big parking lot. There is a security guard. There is a receptionist. There is a big mango tree. And there is a bench in the garden. <laughs> there are 10 rooms. There are three people working in the cafeteria. There are uh, three avocado trees. So there is, there are. 
So then when I finish, it's going to be Rosa's turn and she will do exactly the same. She will describe her place. Any questions or comments? Estamos sí. bien? Sí. Okay, so right now, todos uh, hacen una descripción de su lugar and then I'll assign you to work in pairs. Go ahead.
Let me know when you're ready. I'm finished. Okay, one more minute, everybody, one minute. Okay, so Luis is finished. Uh, Vilma, are you finished? No. Rose, are you finished? Yes. Okay, uh, Ricardo, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Uh, Janet, are you finished? Yes. And Osmin, are you finished? Yeah, yes. Okay, so now it's time to work in pairs and, um, and exchange the information. So let me break our rooms. Uh -huh. Recreate. So here we go, people. Exchange your information.
Lewis. Hi. Let's wait for the other ones. Okay. Did you finish um, exchanging the information? Yes. How do you say palo de frutas, fruit tree? Yeah, fruit tree. Okay. Yep. And palo de mangos? Mango tree. Ah, mango, ah, okay. The mango tree. Okay, let me see who's here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about uh, the exercise? There is, there are. No teacher. Uh, there is a singular and there is plural, right? Yes, sir. There is a singular, there are is plural. There isn't is negative uh, singular, there aren't is uh, negative plural. And I don't know if it's true, but someone told me that isn't and aren't is for people that is not well educated. Uh, what do you mean? When people is, uh, uh, they aren't, there, uh, there isn't, it's like, how, how can I say? Like For, people who haven't studied? Uh -huh, no. Speak the language like too short and they told me that like 15 years ago. Uh, um, not there, really. No, it's that true because. Not really. Because. A, a liar, but I don't know. <laughs> now, remember, you can say there isn't any money or you could say there is no money. But you're not going to sound like that guy isn't well educated? No, 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 oh, okay, okay. no, not even. Um, even in, in English books, you find those topics uh, with the name, there is, there are, there isn't, there aren't. Yeah, so you can perfectly use it. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Okay, everybody. Vamos a pasarnos a español para poder completar la, la encuesta. Teacher, I, I only have a question. Yes, ask me. Building is for uh, one or more plants? Uh, plants. More Let than one flares. floor, yes. Yeah, yep. building. Yeah, and building. When, and when you only have one floor, is uh -huh. also building? Yeah, you can also say building. So imagine you work in a, in a factory and the factory has five buildings but every building has only one floor you like can yeah you can still say building like a car factory uh which factory a car factory because yeah. they only have yeah. one floor but yeah. it's a big big floor because exactly. of the industrial line right have you guys ever had the chance of being inside Ironman? yes Ironman is huge Yes, huge. Because they have they have that plate inside that building. Right, so right, right. They have like uh like two plates in the same building, but they're huge. Right, right. So rows, uh, you can say building. Usually, if it's two floors or more, but if the facility is big enough, you can okay. still say building, even okay. if it has only one floor. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any other questions or comments, people? No. Okay. Did everybody, todos recibieron el link para completar la encuesta? Yes. Sí. Yes, but okay. they are asking for a code or something in the first question. Right. I don't right. know what, what that code is. Okay. Can somebody explain? Alguien puede explicar cuál es el código que le piden? One, let me see. Okay, let me check. Oh, I, I see a, a, a mail. 
Give me a second. So that you the okay. prescription is enter the code of or of something, but I didn't know what code that was. Okay, let, let, let me check. So in theory, alguien nos iba a estar um apoyando. Give me a second. Ok, ahorita lo que pueden hacer, empiecen con la segunda pregunta. Mientras averiguo el... el a ustedes que les enviaron al, al, a, a su WhatsApp o a su correo. Ajá, un link. En el correo. Es que dice, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. La profesionada por proveedor puede copiar y pegarlo. Sí, let me check. Ahorita voy a revisar. Como le vuelvo a repetir, permítame, permítame. O sea, lo que falta ahí es el número de la orden, ¿no? Sí, por decir así. Ya. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Aquí está. Okay, orden, what, what, can you read the question again, please? Sí, es ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio. Okay. Y pleca, será sí. proporcionado por proveedor, puede copiar y pegarlo. Right. Okay, ahorita vamos a... I'm going to put it in the chat. Yes. Y el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Inglés Inglés corporativo. corporativo. Inglés corporativo, yes. Regal International SADCB. Yes, sir. Y el curso. Aquí nombre está, curso. permítame. Dice. Ahí en el, en el, en el, en el, en el mensaje que les acabo de enviar, ahí está la orden de inicio. 26687. Y recomiendan que le, usted le dé copy paste, porque en Insaform son muy estrictos en lo que se refiere, guiones, paréntesis, pleca y todo eso. Entonces, para evitar cometer un error, dele copy paste y lo, y lo pone tal como está ahí. Me deja copy paste. ¿Ah? Si lo quiero copy paste, no me deja escoger solo el, el curso. Pero ya lo puedo ahí. 26, 6, 87. Pero si, si lo dijiste correctamente, creo que no hay problema. Sí, se los okay. voy a enviar para que le den copy paste. Ah, teacher, do you know the date when we begin the course? Yes, I'll tell you right now. 2021. Creo que se vamos a ver. 20, 5930 0073. And uh, date we finish is today, right? Yeah, we finish or em, terminamos el día de ahora. 19 de febrero e iniciamos ahorita le digo um, toda la fecha de inicio me falta a mí una creo que, <coughs> creo que iniciamos el 25 pero ya le voy a decir 1, 2 Sí, eh, 25 de enero. Ok. 
dos, tres, cuatro, sí. Ah, ¿y el nombre del curso cuál es? Ahorita le digo. Recuerde eh, cuando usted haya enviado el, 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 ¿cómo se llama esta cuestión? El survey ya completado, eh, tómele una captura de imagen y esa imagen la comparte en el chat que tenemos. De esa manera, pues yo voy a poder eh, verificar que todos lo han enviado. Um, ya le digo. Check. Eh, excuse me, teacher. El, el nombre, me? Del, sí, el nombre del proveedor. El, el nombre del proveedor es um, Inglés Corporativo. Ah, Inglés Corporativo, eh, paréntesis Regal International. Exacto, exacto. Gracias. Quiero, ando buscando el el nombre oficial del curso, porque lo puedo decir básico 1, pero no es ese. Um... Inglés principiante módulo 1. Can you see my screen? Yes. It's right there. Okay, I sent the image to the chat. Okay. Okay, Inglés Principiante, Módulo 1. Vamos a ver quién va terminando. Thank you, Luis. ¿Alguien necesita ayuda? Eh, el 25 Eso. de enero, perdón, 25 ah, de enero. 25 de enero, sí. Este, es que me equivoqué, puse, este, lo copié y puse 25, el 2, pero ahí lo de atrás, ¿verdad? Sí, mes. sí, 25 de enero. Ah, bueno, gracias. Que...
Okay, can you, uh, Luis, can you send the image again with your full name, please? Okay, okay. Cuando, cuando envíen la, la imagen que ya terminaron, eh, incluir su nombre completo, por favor. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Janet. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas? ¿Necesita ayuda? Yeah. Ok, me, me, me borró. <laughs> se me borró. ¿Cómo se le borró a Osmin? Ricardo, can you send it again yeah. with your complete name? ¿Lo puede enviar otra vez con su nombre completo, Ricardo? Ok, teacher. Thank you. <clears throat> Rose, thank you. Okay. Estamos bien, Osmin. Eh, sí, voy, voy, voy de nuevo. De acá okay, no problem. No, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Bueno, ok, gracias. Thank you, Rick. El nombre del proveedor, de teacher, disculpe, es... Inglés eh, corporativo. Inglés, inglés corporativo. Okay. Correcto. Inglés corporativo, eh, bueno, que okay, Regal, ya. Yeah. Lo, lo, lo voy a pegar porque sí lo tengo aquí. Ok, good. Ya. Yeah. Inglés, inglés principiante módulo 1 es el nombre del curso, sí. Yes, inglés principiante módulo 1. Gracias. Thank you, Vilma.
Marta Monge está bien con su uh, con el llenado de la de la encuesta. Sí, teacher, solo que lo había hecho en la computadora y lo mejor lo hice en, lo estoy haciendo en, la, en el en el, el teléfono. teléfono okay, good, enviar. good, no sí. problem, no problem. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. Would you be the would you be the teacher for the next semester? Uh, of course, I don't know. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Why, teacher? <laughs> uh, because you know we we ro they rotate teachers. Okay, teachers. Yeah. You have to say, I need the people. <laughs> yeah. So I want that group back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but there will be new people in the group because you are uh, a few only. So oh, yes. they will uh, incorporate new faces. Yes. Give me a second, I'm going for some water. Eh, teacher, disculpe, eh, la fecha de finaliz finalización del curso es la fecha de hoy. Sí, sí Osmin, esta, esta fecha. Eh. Ah, ok, gracias. ¿Eh? Gracias. Y, perdón, en, en, en cursos de interés eh, deben ser los que imparte el instituto, en este caso, ¿no? Eh, la, las opciones que, que a usted le pueda interesar, electricidad, mecánica oh. automotriz. Ok, sí, sí. Ok, gracias. Good. Oh. 
Ok, Alicia Monge, good, thank you. Tal vez me puede reenviar su imagen con su nombre completo, please. Thank you, Marta. Teacher, disculpe. Yes, Osmin. Eh, a, a, sí, aparte de, de, de la encuesta ya finalizada, dijo que enviáramos otra cosa. Perdón, eh, eh, usted lo que tiene que hacer es, es tomar una, 
una captura de imagen y enviarla al grupo de chat con su nombre completo y así pues damos por terminada esta actividad de la encuesta. Una captura de imagen de la encuesta que realicé. Sí, donde le dice gracias, cuando cuando la cuando la ah, sí, ya, cuando le sí, dice gracias, sí. me manda una imagen de eso con su nombre completo. Excelente, gracias. Thank you. Okay. Al chat de inglés corporativo, teacher marroquí. Ah, al chat, al chat te ocupamos generalmente todos los días, sí. Ok. Ok, Osvin, esa misma imagen me la puede reenviar con su nombre completo, please. Ok, en this moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Ya les pareció, teacher, sí. Yes, aquí está, ya, gracias, gracias, gracias. Ah, bueno. Okay. Thanks, everyone. All right, so let's continue. So, are you a morning person or are you an evening person? What's the meaning of a morning person and what's the meaning of an evening person? Morning. Um, mañanera. Yes. Tempranera. Yes. So what does that mean, Rose? I, I don't know, but for example, in my case, I prefer go to bed. Uh, Late? No. Evening. Evening. Yeah. In early? Early. I prefer go to bed early and wake me up. Uh, early. Early. Uh-huh. Yeah. In okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is good. A, a morning person is someone that wakes up early, five okay. or six in the morning. Okay. Now, what is an evening person? Let me put it in the chat. 
a person who sleep, I don't know, <laughs> very late. <laughs> exactly. Morning person, someone that wakes up early. Sometimes when I when I don't I don't want to do nothing after uh -huh. the class. I, I say I'm going to sleep and I, I wake me wake me up at 4 a.m. Right, right. And do the things and do the things that I can do at night. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who goes to bed late. And an evening person is someone who goes to bed late. Right? So if you go to bed early. If you go to bed early, you shouldn't have any problems to wake up early the following day, in yeah. theory, in theory. Okay. Uh, but an evening person, an evening person, they go to bed late. So it's like uh, very difficult for them to wake up early the following day. So, and like you said, it's better to go to sleep early and wake up early the, the following day. Any questions? Does anybody here suffer insomnia? Not teacher. You, Rick? Not my case, teacher. <laughs> okay, and what do you do to go to sleep? Do you have any tricks uh, to fight insomnia? Um, no, teacher, because uh, every day I I feel very, um, how do you say, cansado, tired, right? Tired. 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 And when, I, and when I go to the bed, I fall asleep very fast. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. So, but, it, so you don't suffer insomnia? Not teacher. Okay. I don't suffer insomnia either, thank God. You know, like, <laughs> we, I finished the class with you guys at 10 p.m., right? Uh, and I'm supposed to leave a video ready to upload it to the channel. But I said, no, I can do that tomorrow. So I go to bed immediately after I finish. With you guys. <laughs> and I wake up the following day alone without an alarm, you know, 5, 5.30. I said, oh, my God, this is good. You know, like, <laughs> I sleep well. And um, so one of the first activities that I do that's when I finish the process of uploading the, the video in the channel. So how many, doc, how many hours do doctors recommend of sleep? Uh, they recommend eight, eight hours. Uh -huh. eight hours. How much water do they recommend? Five eight liters. Glasses. Eight glasses. Eight, eight glasses? Eight yep. glasses, okay. Yep, okay. What about the food? What food do they recommend? Healthy food. <laughs> yeah, healthy food. Fruits and vegetables. Veg vegetable food. Yeah. What is another form to say fruits and vegetables? Pro. Proteins. Pro. When you go to a supermarket, there is a big sign that says pro. Produce. Ah, produce. Produce. Okay, let me let me write it in the chat. Yeah. It's general teacher when you say products. So if you go to a, a supermarket in the States and you don't know the supermarket, you ask the security guard or you ask the cashier, excuse me, where is the produce? Oh, the produce mm. is in the back of the supermarket. So produce means uh, fruits and vegetables. Mm. Let me let me see if I can find something here. It's like okay. to say when you refer to a grain teacher about the cereals. Uh huh. Can can you can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. See, I wrote yes. produce and look at the pictures that I got. Mm. I don't, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite fruit? Uh, apple. Apples? <laughs> which, apple. which type apple. of apples? I like the red apple, teacher. 
red apples. Yes, I like very much uh, grapes. Yeah. Sure, how, 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 do, how do you say jocote? It's the same word. Uh, you could say jocotes, but some people call it Salvadorian plums. Let me write plums. it. Uh, what do you say? Kiwi, teacher. Kiwi. <laughs> let me let me let me write Salvadorian plums right there. You see it? Wow. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Salvadorian plums. Nice to meet you. Nice Salvadorian plums. <laughs> yeah, I love jocotes de corona. It's one of my favorite. Yes. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, very delicious. Yeah, especially um. Uh, if how do you say maduro in English? Maduro. I no, you say that. Uh, maduro, teacher. Fast no. day. Uh, mature. mature. Yeah, I want mature is for people, but for okay. fruits and vegetables. Uh, I don't know. Right. Yes, right. Right there. You see ripe fruit? The the image? Yes, yes teacher. So ripe means that they are ready to be eaten. They are, sometimes they're so ripe that you waste them. I like ripe mangoes. Ripe mangoes are delicious. Yes. <laughs> we should have ripe mangoes very soon. Yes. Mm -hmm. when, when is the season for Jocotes de Corona? ¿Cuándo salen los jocotes de coronas? Uh, this month, Agosto. Agosto. The last, the last uh. month, I see. I see. I see. I saw. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's September. Around September. Mm, November. November. I don't remember. I think when it's I bought, September, when I October. In, in October and December. Uh huh. The last yeah. month in December. Yeah. What about the mangoes? At this moment. Nice. <laughs> like right now, we're in the process of getting a lot of mangoes. Yes. How green do you say mango verde, teacher? Green, green, a green mango. mango. Green, green mango. Yes, okay. green mango. Oh. Right. Harder noise. Verde, no. Uh, no. Well, you could, if you're giving a description and you say, okay, what are the differences between ripe food, I mean ripe fruits and green fruits, then the green fruit should be harder, should be harder. Uh -huh. Green, green uh, is verde y, y harder maduro. Okay. Uh, ripe, ripe. Uh, ripe is maduro, green is verde. Okay. How do you say cascara in English? Cascara. Peel. Huh? What? Peel. What is it? Peel, Peel. teacher. Peel, yeah. S skin. No, skin. Uh -huh. oh. Like the piel. Yeah, like, like piel. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The skin. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's an example why Spanish is more complete than English. Because, I mean, in Spanish, so, piel is cascara. one thing. You know, piel is for people or mm -hmm. animals. And then if you talk about food, you will say cascara. You know, uh -huh. they are in two different skin. words. Skin. Right. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what say cascara? Skin. Uh, and, and cascaron shell. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. Skin is cascara. Skin is cascara. Okay. Shell es como un carapacho. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher, when I say when I say hatch, hatch, yes, hatch is uh, let's say you have an egg, there is an animal inside. When the animal is ready, they hatch. Oh. Okay. Yep. Podría decir, entonces, refiriéndose a una tortuga, tortoise shell, no. A turtle shell, yes. Turtle shell, okay. Yeah, turtle shell. As a matter of fact, if you say care, you say turtle shell. Turtle shell, okay. Yeah, turtle shell. Care is nice. 
Kwa Kara is, is very nice. It is. It is. Okay, any questions or comments, people, about this vocabulary? I don't know why we're talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> we are hungry, teacher. <laughs> you know, I, I ate I ate before the class. I had two pupusas, and I asked only my wife. Two. Yeah, only two, because uh, <laughs> when I came, my, my wife brought some panes that they sell near here, oh. so I only had two. So I asked her, like, 10 minutes ago, are there any pupusas left? She says, no, there aren't. <laughs> so now I have to wait until tomorrow's breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play an audio. Um, house old chores. What's the meaning of household chores? ¿Qué significa household chores? It's like to say the domestic duties, teacher. Uh, official domestic. Yeah, the, the duties that you have in your house. ¿Qué ejemplo de household chores sabe usted en inglés? Uh, A ver, póngalo ahí en el chat. Okay. Póngalo en el chat mientras voy a traer okay. agua. Give me a second. Okay, it says wash the dishes, dust my furniture, clean the house, make the bed. Good. Marta, Osmin, uh, mop the floor, wash the dishes. Mm -hmm. What else? How do you say hacer lavanderia? Iron in my clothes, uh huh. Ricardo, do you iron? Clean the window. Uh, no, no. So, sorry, teacher. Do you iron? No, I hate this uh, domestic tourist. <laughs> yeah, me too. I hate it. I hate it. I yeah. hate it. <laughs> I get depressed when I iron my clothes. <laughs> You know, my um, wife, she rested for almost one year, you know, because of the emergency. Uh, literally, from March, she, you know, like, uh, uh, she didn't have to iron until maybe a month from now. So she's she all was iron. on vacation. <laughs> she was on vacation, exactly. Yeah. I know. And what, and what did I, you do, teacher? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nothing, because, you know, like, uh, the classes that I was teaching, Oh. We're from from home. Yes. So yes, what yes. I did, I went to the closet and I said, "You only put one. a shirt." Yeah, and I only put it on, right? <laughs> right. I hate I hate that. Yeah. Me too. Okay, sweep the I, house. I, 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 pre I prefer the wash uh -huh. the dishes. I prefer yeah, wash the dishes. I prefer wash, wash the clothes, wash the dishes, yeah. everything. Yeah. But I no. I made everything that uh, I hate. The iron it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was a time that I was single. I used to iron, you know, apparently, but yeah, ironing is not good. Okay, sweep the house, mop the floor, clean the furniture, and iron. <coughs> Very good. Okay, what if I say leisure activities? Can you write in the card? Right there, leisure activities. Leisure. Uh, What's the meaning of leisure? It's like to say the hobby, teacher. Okay, let me write it there. Leisure activities. Okay, so these are leisure activities. 
So leisure. Are they working in the pictures? Or no, they, are they, 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 are, uh, they are having fun. They're having fun. Exactly. They're having fun. So camping, this should... camping is a issue. Sure, sure. Uh, Some people love to go camping. Other uh, people, they love to go fishing. fishing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some people love to go walking. So leisure activities are the activities that you do for, for fun. But ride a bike. Ride a bike. Fly ride a, a kite. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. Read. Uh, Listen picnic. to music. Yeah, picnics. Ah, okay. So those are leisure activities. How do you traduce leisure? Huh? How do you traduce leisure? It's late. You mean the translation? Yes. Yes. Leisure, um, actividades que hacen su tiempo libre. Okay. Okay, Stephanie Marielo. Antonia Rodriguez, okay. I remember Antonia. So say thank you, girl. Thanks, girl. Okay. So um based on the vocabulary that we are studying at this moment. Um, are you a morning person or are you an evening person? So you said, I'm a morning person, I'm an evening person. So this is going to be our last activity. Así brevemente lo voy a poner a trabajar en pareja. Y usted va a explicar por qué se considera usted un morning person o por qué se considera un evening person. So let me see this here, recreate. And okay, let's do this. Go ahead. Osmin. Say. Puede entrar al salón 3, Osmin. Okay, one well, moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem.
Ladies and gentlemen, three, six, seven. Quiero agradecerles por haber sido pacientes, persistentes, valientes, eh, todo aquellos, todos aquellos uh, adjetivos que califican muy bien a la gente se lo han merecido. Yo sé que no ha sido fácil a conectarse de 8 a 10 de la noche, de lunes a viernes, pero mire, aquí están. Yo les garantizo que todos los que están aquí presentes eh, han aprendido algo y como les decía, eh, pues eh, no es fácil eh, eh, aprender en línea dos horas porque eh, especialmente si ya tienen hijos, cosas que hacer, pues se complica aún más la, la, la cuestión. Sin embargo, aquí están el último día de clases ustedes presentes. Les agradezco mucho. Tal vez coincidimos a en el próximo nivel, porque el grupo está bastante pequeño, entonces van a tener que uh, eh, traer caras nuevas y todo. Entonces, eh, quedo a sus órdenes, les agradezco mucho. Eh, y, ¿Pasar eh, lista? ¿Ah? <risa> Le falta pasar, pasar la lista. lista dice, ¿no? ¡Oh, my goodness! <risa> <risa> vamos a ver. En el último <risa> día. <risa> ok, vamos a ver, vamos a hacerlo de la manera más práctica. Alumno. Roselena Salgado. Present. Ok, very good. Uh, Marta Monge. Present. Present. Ricardo Hernández. Hello, teacher. Ricardo, 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 right here. Uh, Osmin. Present, teacher. Very good. Janet Morales. Present. And Vilma Sorto. Present. Ok, so... Todos los demás, pues sabemos que está, est estuvieron ausentes, excepto Luis, que, que se salió. Entonces, como les decía, guarden mi número. Si necesitan a, a algo, alguna, algo en que les pueda ayudar, pues aquí está mi casa, sus órdenes en Lourdes. Y pues les deseo lo mejor. Thank you very much. Gracias, gracias teacher. Muchas gracias por apoyarnos. Gracias. 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 Excelente. Muchas gracias. Excelente. Todo, gracias. Sí, Have a good night. Gusto. See you soon. Yes. Bye bye. 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 Bye.